So these yeah. commercials, was that be- obviously before you got the Tonight Show? Was the Tonight Show your big like TV break? Or yeah, that was it, man. I uh, I got a bunch of commercials, um, and I was on commercials a bunch. Um, and, uh, and you're surviving off them, obviously, right? Huh? If, if you're surviving off at the that point, I was. I was pretty you do 10 in two broke, years, man. I was like, it got real bad. I, I was doing that thing where I would overdraft my bank account, and I would just move to another bank. What? And then I would That's like overdraft that one and move to another bank. I ended up paying them off because they were hounding me forever, but. Um, yeah, I did that for a while. It was like I didn't have money. I didn't have any money. It was really bad out Before here. Before the commercials. Before the commercials. Because then when you get the commercials. I did freelance that. editing gigs out here. Right. A few. Um, and then I started auditioning for commercials. And that's how I learned how to audition. That's how I learned how to be funny in a way that wasn't just me on stage talking about stuff. Right. Like that. I think one of the most valuable lessons I learned was that you being funny, you sh- as a character you're doing funny things not being funny right you think you think you're being serious as a funny character sure yeah, yeah. you don't you're know you're honest. telling a joke right yeah, yeah you know and that was like a big revelation i was like i thought you just tell jokes like <laughs> you just say funny things you know right but yeah that was like a big revelation and i learned that through commercials and um and so, then i got the tonight show i just sent in a tape and auditioned i got that and then i ended up doing new faces around that year the montreal comedy festival new faces and then i the first thing i ever booked was punked i was on mtv's punk how much stand-up are you doing during this time are you performing three times a week four times oh yeah one time a week oh a ton yeah i was doing you know at that time i don't know i want to say anywhere from five to seven spots a week that's maybe on a good week yeah that's what you got to do yeah that's what i was doing i had nothing else to do did 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 you audition for punked i did yeah what was that like? Oh, that was crazy. I it was just all improv. Like you just came into a room and with another person auditioning, and you just they were like, uh, "Okay, so you that's your uh, mother in law, and you have to um, explain to her that you want to have sex with her daughter." Go, <laughs> you know, like stuff weird stuff like that, right. or like someone walked in on you uh, trying to suck your own dick. So uh, go. Oh wow! And you're like, well, um. <clears throat> <clears throat> Yeah, 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 and I just did a bunch of those. Uh, was that that was the season that it came back, right? Yeah. Okay. And you were in? All, were you in all the episodes? I was in four, and then I got fired because. Uh, Whoa! What? I, Wait! What? <laughs> this is a really funny. We're story. to bury the lead. I mean, we're like kind of yeah. Our, I don't know how long we can go, but um, we can go as long as you want. But uh, yeah, I was. Uh, I got signed, so I did new faces uh, right after I booked punked, and I ended up shooting a bunch and then I signed with uh, an agency and the agency posted in the Hollywood Reporter that I was signed by them and on Punked and uh, the producers of Punk found out and that's like huge it's like a huge oh, violation of your it was before your they NDA. aired or whatever before they aired so uh, th- so they got calls from managers being like we're gonna look out for your boy uh, uh, but I was in four or five episodes before that happened so it wasn't even then. your fault no I was were really you, mad were you pissed yeah, I was gonna yeah it was really bad yeah I was really mad about it I was hoping um, it was your fault and you did something crazy to a celebrity or something. No, no, it wasn't my fault. I, I was, it was nerve wracking. That was a nerve wracking show to work on, but yeah, it yeah, wasn't I my feel fault. like it'd be high stress. Yeah, but I, f- do you fight? What do you do with your management company or whatever? Do you f- agent? Uh, I kind of gave them another chance, and they ended up being pretty good. Okay, I'm not with them anymore now, but I gave them a shot to like make it up to me. Yeah, I was like, now nah, you owe me. me. They definitely owe yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, That's which nuts. was good. Um, yeah. And then, you know, from there I kind of started doing more TV auditions and, you know, booking stuff like that. That's great. Yeah. 